State's got themselves in position with an 11-point lead. If they can get uh, maybe seven minutes with those people on the bench and get them back into the ball game, they still keeps them in pretty good shape as far as the final seven minutes of the ball game. There's Carlos Groves got to start tonight's game for Tennessee. Second shot, Swiss. She hit it. One out of two for Carlos Groves. Cuts it to ten. East Tennessee's top two scorers, Talford with 12, Dennis with 10, both on the bench with four fouls. And there's a lot of time left. West from three. Tennessee in the 2-3 zone just left it soft on the corner, and he was able to make the three-pointer. 13-point lead for East Tennessee State. Greg Bell misses everything. Saved back in by East Tennessee. Bucks run, four on one. Jennings. Keller follows no good. Lockhart with a rebound. Stolen by Buccaneers. Shot no good. East Tennessee getting every possible break right now. And a huge contingent of fans from Johnson City in the Thompson Bowling Arena. State changing its offense now since Tennessee's in the zone. Look for them to try to work the corners. Here's West for three. No good. Bell with a rebound. Volunteers want to run with it now. It's a four on three. Bell, short. Keller with a rebound. Tennessee has not drawn iron in its last two shots. Tennessee's rushed itself the last two times down the floor, did not get the good shot on either occasion. And they threw it away. Give it back to the Volunteers. Three point shots this half. East Tennessee, four out of eight. 50%. Tennessee's hit the only one they attempted. That was by Allen Houston. Jay Price in the ballgame now. The sophomore from Chattanooga. And Tennessee will request and get a timeout. 13 minutes, one second left to be played in this game. East Tennessee with a 13-point lead, and we'll be back in just a moment. East Tennessee State has outscored the Volunteers 33-15 to in the last 14 minutes of this contest. But we still have 13 minutes to play. Points off turnovers, East Tennessee 6, Tennessee zip this half. Tennessee, I think, has got itself caught up in, in the flow of the game a little bit too much. Things are going well for State, not going well for Tennessee, so they, they got to kind of take control of the tempo of the ball game so things begin to swing back their way. Jay Price in the ball game now against Major Gear. Tennessee trying to find a combination that will work against this very talented Buccaneer basketball team. Allen Houston with the ball. Ricky Clark out front for the Volunteers. Jay Price. Tennessee being patient here looking for the good shot. 16 on the shot clock. And the fourth different player to guard Allen Houston's on him right now. That's Michael Woods in the ball game now for East Tennessee. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Houston rips a three-pointer. Boy, he shot that one with authority. Nice bucket from the outside. That's something that he needs to happen for him because if he can just get on a hot streak, he's got enough offensive ability that he can himself get Tennessee back in the ball game. Crowd thought that Major Gear traveled. Not so, says the official. Buccaneers with the ball and a 10-point lead. Marty Story. Major Gear with the ball and a blocking foul against Tennessee's Jay Price. Price looked like he was just a little bit late getting himself set with his defense. Here we see he's got on the side. He lets the man get by him just about a half a step and then tries to belly up to him. It's too late to do that. Anytime that that happens, you're going to get the foul call. 11.45 to go. It's a 10-point advantage for East Tennessee State. Daryl Jones with it now. Here's Jenny. Missed the three. Great follow by Jones, but he's fouled by Tennessee's Ricky Clark. And that's three on Clark. And Daryl Jones, the freshman, continues to be impressive in a substitute role. Here we see good offensive position as, as gets the offensive rebound. Then when he tries to take it back up, then Tennessee reaches and commits the foul. 
There's Wade Houston. He came out of his coat in the last 30 seconds of the game with Austin P. He was out of it tonight in the first two minutes. Well, this has been a tough ball game. This is, as a matter of fact, this has been a good one to watch. The fans uh, should be very excited with this type of play. Jones misses the first free throw. He'll get another. Second shot. No good. Rebound Lockhart. Jones with two misses for East Tennessee. Let's see if the Volunteers can capitalize. Get that lead down to single digits. Jay Price drives the baseline. Nice feed to Lockhart, who missed the shot. Clark goes back up. He's hammered in there by Chad Keller of East Tennessee. Good offensive effort by Tennessee on the boards. A lot of times you see the guys make the mistake when they get the offensive board. They put it down on the floor rather than going back up. I think we're going to see that. Here's the first shot missed by Lockhart. Kicking it around. Clark, there he puts it down on the floor rather than going straight back up with the basket. There's Chad Keller. Clark misses the first free throw. He'll get another. A lot of folks are saying this East Tennessee State team is probably the best team in the Southern Conference since the 1982 UT Chattanooga team that beat NC State this in the is a, NCAA tournament. This is a good one, and the thing about it, they're going to get better as the season goes along because he's playing a tough schedule this year. Major gear with it now. A steal by Lockhart. Saved, however, by Major Gear. Marty Story with it now. Gear with the ball. Here's Gear, who's wide open. This is the three. Rebound kicked out. Give it to Tennessee. Allen Houston very wise in letting that one go out of bounds. And those are the three-pointers that State hit, had their run there at one time, and they were hitting those. I thought we saw something there, and that's got to do with experience for State team down at time. They took a little time off the clock as far as running their offense. Maybe they need to back the free, uh, the, uh, free throw line back out to where the three-point shot is. I think teams are hitting better percentages from there this half. 10.37 to go in the basketball game. Tennessee down by nine. Sean Thompson misses everything. Kept alive by Price. And a foul. And it's going to be on Tennessee. Well, we had nearly, I guess, an air ball on the jump shot there. And then Price made a good play by kicking the ball, keeping the ball in play to give Tennessee a, a, an opportunity to get to the basketball. Foul is on Ian Lockhart, but it's only his first foul. He got in a little bit of foul trouble against Austin P. Let's take a look. And here we see, there's where Price kicks it away. Then you got the reach by Lockhart across the arms. There. Great the feed for Marty Story. Keep Jennings. That's the penetration. A guy that's that quick when he can do that, you're in big trouble. Blocking foul against Story on the other end. Story is a guy that I wouldn't necessarily want to try to charge into. <laughs> big, strong kid from Greenville, Tennessee, played uh, for Herb Hawks up there. Right, here we see the replay. The story just does not get himself in good defensive position. Second foul on story. Tennessee plays it in. In the lane, Thompson's turnaround won't go. Tennessee gone ice cold from the floor. Here's story again. Dropping it to West. Missed it. Lockhart with a rebound. Buccaneers by 11. Houston might have forced that shot. Story knocks it out of bounds. Give it back to Tennessee. That's not the shot. That's not the shot that Allen Houston wants in this kind of a ball game now. East Tennessee has scored 13 points.